Good morning to the state. What's up, gentlemen? Ladies? This is uh, JP from Cop Chases. Um, I did a, uh, a mini cast the other day, and uh, I didn't post it because some, you know, I have a lot of things going on. So uh, I woke up this morning and I was compelled to kind of switch kind of switch switch up a little bit this is what I woke up to a post from a fr you know one of my friends on uh, Facebook if your child is involved in this anti second amendment march on Washington DC or walkout then you failed as a parent and I got really irritated with this and um, I felt compelled to say or do something about this. I had to post this. If your child is involved in this anti-Second Amendment march on Washington DC and or walkout, then you failed as a parent. I don't know about you guys, but the, uh, the Second Amendment march on Washington DC is matched with a bunch of walkouts throughout high schools across America. Uh, a lot of people don't like the guns. Hold on a second. Um, they don't like the guns, so um, the Second Amendment that gives us a right to bear arms um, has nothing to do with this the, the school actually, and the in these people with the political agenda is calling it an anti Second Amendment thing, but it's not. They just uh, they're going against these mass shootings and. There's a bunch of conspiracy theories about the mass shootings, how e even Steven Seagal, um, you know, the actor and the martial artist or whatever, he was a cop, actually, for 20-something years. In fact, he was an assistant chief in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, and he was there for over two decades, almost 30 years, I guess. Um, and he also taught the FBI their training sessions with their guns and hand-to-hand -hand combat and the whole, the whole bit. And he said a lot of these mass shootings are staged and it, it's uh, media propaganda to push a hidden agenda. And this is one of those times. Like if you talk to anybody down in Sandy Hook that were there, they would tell you that it was nowhere near the amount that was portrayed by the media. And that, that's just a fact. Um, the thing down in, in Florida was you know half that and even the Boston bombing they overblown because uh, I known people that ran, that ran with it and they heard the blast and it wasn't even as big as they thought that they uh, portrayed and they shut down half of the city even though they had both suspects you know uh, they had one suspect dead because they shot him like over 172 times even though he was unarmed now, that's the society we live in um, it's, it, it, it almost feels like we live in Beirut. But anyways, I guess this person, and of course I'm not going to name any names because I'm not a drama starter. If your child is involved in this anti-Second Amendment march or Washington, D.C., then you failed as a parent. What's parenting have to do with your child having their own voice? So I was involved in this huge thread this morning. Started at like 7 a.m. Actually started late last night. And um, you know this this person Arthur. He's he he's been okay, even though he disagrees with me. But he's been fine. But a bunch of moms popped on. Um, this lady Janet. My kid stayed in his classroom where he belonged, and then. They went to gym for a, for a speech. So, you know, of course he's going to stay there because you sound like a helicopter parent. Yeah, you stay where you want, where I want you to stay or else. Obviously, he can't have a voice because he's going to get grounded for having one. I teach my kids free thinking and, and they're basically free range. Despite these hate groups, they don't know a goddamn thing about me. But I have two older kids, um, and one's a Trump supporter, the other one's a Bernie Sanders uh, person, and, you know, 
I have uh, family members that like either either or they they should have their own views, their own their own liking, and that their their rhetoric or their political background shouldn't shouldn't rely on what I think or feel. Um, I'm not a helicopter parent, and I don't clone my kids and brainwash them into taking the political stance that I take. In fact, I don't want anybody to do what I do. Um, I, I don't advise anybody going up to a cop and yelling in their face and telling a cop to step off and you can't do this because you're doing the wrong, you know. I don't advise any cop blocker, cop watch, high desert community um, guys, some of the, you know, the audit guys, um, any of those people, cop watch, peaceful streets, cop block. You know, any any of those guys, I do not advise going up to a cop like I do and getting in their face. The only reason why I can almost get away with it here is because I ripped these guys into court and uh, I will sue the life out of them. Um, and that's and and that's what defines public jurisdiction over public officials. Um, the Carla Garek versus Began, um, Ware Police Department, New Hampshire. That's a good case to see because she was able to sue the cops, the cop himself. Um, and the uh, U.S. Court of Appeals said you can sue a cop if, it, if they violate a fundamental right. <clears throat> and that's a message to all the police officers out there. If you violate a fundamental right, we can sue you personally. I, I will take your house. I will take your livelihood. And I will shove it down the drain and I'll use it for something good. Get a different job. That's all I'm saying. But this, 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 and then they started talking about students bullying students doesn't help. Yet after all, anti-bullying campaigns, it continues at staggering rates. I don't know why this person added this because it has nothing to do with the post. But you see that all the time anyway. Um... The bullying thing, I, I, I don't even want to touch on that because I'm like, I don't know, I, I stand on an even fence. I understand that uh, kids should not be bullied and picked on and they should be able to go to school without being excessively harassed, especially if they are a soft mind and you're a more sensitive person than, than the other and then you have this big jerk that gets in his face and steals his money every day I totally understand that should stop but that's that that is a guy stealing and causing a victim um, and mental anguish under duress um, but to uh, baby our kids to the point where they can't experience this world I mean if, if they don't experience a little bit of it in high school what the heck are they going to do when they get out I understand that side of it too. Um, they get pulled over for a tail light going, tail light out when they first get their license. They're having a literal nervous breakdown because nothing ever bad has ever happened to them in their whole entire life, and they're freaking out because that's like the worst thing that's ever happened. Well, they should have a nervous breakdown if a cop pulls them over because they could get shot for no reason, like the 16-year-old in in North Carolina. You got popped four times in the in the back of the head and he was reaching for his license because you have one cop telling him get your license get your license he's trying to get his license and you have the other cop not listening to the other cop they're both screaming don't move don't move don't move this one saying get your license get your don't move i'm gonna shoot don't move get your license through this other window he went to he's listening to this cop he goes to move this one pop 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 yeah that's called that's called operational confusion they purposely do that to uh, see if you're a criminal or not and nine out of ten times you end up dead in the process well that's what cops do they kill people they cause victims look at the numbers look at the numbers four thousand nine hundred eighty nine unarmed deaths in two years 96 since January 1st. Actually, that, that number might be up. You can check that out on killedbycops.net. 
that guy that that does that site lost a child i believe i don't know the backstory i think he lost a kid or or he started he started the site for something um and he's very good at it he follows all these cases um and that's operational confusion if you see in a lot of my earlier videos i follow the uh cops around the college neighborhoods they literally will show up at a noise complaint with 13 14 police officers on a regular noise complaint and it it's not even past curfew of the noise ordinance yet and they'll stand around these college kids and literally have an intimidating presence around them where they they act like they they act like the cops best friend and in fact with us videographers and people that want to document you know police activity they actually gain the liking or the favor of these college kids and they switch it around. I've been assaulted, I think, three years in a row now. Every every summer I've been getting beat up. Um, I, this, past, this past year, I got hit in the back of the head with a field hockey stick. Um, and the guy that did it was talking to a cop just before that and the cop are ramping these people up to come after us. They're like, oh, they're just a bunch of felons, and they go around with cameras and harass us and fall. We can't get rid of them. You want me to do something about it? Hey, it's it's it, you do what you want to do. They're literally, literally condoning um, uh, assault, and it's not it's not right. And the other assault that happened, I got jumped on by two people from behind, and they smashed my camera um, because they thought I had some incriminating evidence on the the video of them fighting some chick earlier um like minutes earlier i was actually there because the cops showed up at this house and there was it was racially motivated there was a a, a house full of black kids it was the basketball house with the basketball team in it and i was video recording that and for some reason these other two thought i was video recording them I don't have a habit of video recording civilians. I don't do that. I know a lot of other people do. Um, like the high desert guys, they go, they video everybody. Mailmen. And if you have somewhat of a governmental tag on you, they'll go after you. I've been after DOT. I have a video with the uh, Department of Transportation here in New Hampshire. Um, I have a few others, um, some other public officials. But I, I mainly go after police because I think... Their militarization, combative behavior, uh, killing people. Um, they had three deaths and four shootings in, in Keene the past four years. So, um, for a small, you know, you would say ninety percent here, uh, middle class or above, um, that's unheard of. Um, these people are getting shot for like no reason whatsoever. But back to this main main issue with the kids. I free range my children to a point within reason and I I raise them to be free thinkers. I will not helicopter over my child and I will not pass my political rhetoric down to them because that's brainwashing them and that's not freedom and that's not liberty. Now this lady Janet. Yeah. My kid stayed in his classroom where he belonged. He, first of all, they don't belong there. Okay, They choose to be there. They're young adults. They have a choice. By law, they can make the choice to drop out. So, well, guess what? If you drop out, I'm kicking you out of my house. There you go with the power and control again. So, and uh, my, buddy, my buddy Ed, he goes... Oh, I just got back from a meeting, and it's the people that run the schools. No, you don't. Ninety percent of the people voted against Common Core, and that got passed. Trust me, you don't run the fucking school. The school runs you. Period. My son, who's in kindergarten, missed a, a significant amount of days um, because of sicknesses, moving, switching schools, and and a and a family a family court battle. Um. I have full custody because the mom messed up. I wish I had full custody because of my merits. Um, I, I everybody that that spends any time with me or here says I'm a great parent, but you know, I don't have a whole lot of 
uh, you know, ego when it comes to that. I do the very best I can. I do know that I run a peaceful household, a drug-free and alcohol-free and fight-free household. Um, there's no fighting here. There's no yelling here, no anger here. Like that flat screen right there got smashed by my by accident by my five-year-old and I didn't get mad at him. It's an accident. Um, most parents would freak freak their lid. Um, but there's no uh, aggressive behavior when it comes to parenting or anything in this house. It's very happy and peaceful. My kids are laughing and, and they're loved, completely loved. And, and I allow their mom to uh, see them any, any chance I can get her here uh, or whatever time, no matter how messed up she is or how clean or not clean she is, it don't matter, you know, the, the kids need both parents no matter what. And there was some, there was st some stuff in this thread of, uh, of male fathers and how, you know, 50% of the kids don't have dads and da da da. No, that's not true. There's, there's, there's a lot of rhetoric and a lot of things that have to do with that number and it shouldn't be so vague. 50% of the fathers aren't in the kids' lives is because 90% of the laws written through the states are revolved around moms. I mean, I'm discriminated all the time. I went to a PTA meeting, and I was the only guy there, and they wouldn't, nobody said hi to me. There was 15 parents there. They all had their stuff. I brought, I brought a, a, a huge casserole in. Uh, another lady brought like this uh, baked ziti and stuff. It, the food was great, but man, I was chastised and ostracized because I'm a dad. I'm a, I'm a male. And the court, three times in a row, have sided with uh, the mom. You know, I'll, uh, I'll open up a little bit um, with some information. Um, I was pushing for 50-50 custody back in 2013. She had a majority of parenting time, which was like half a day more. Even though this hate group, S SFK, in this area said that I lost my kids and all that. That's bullshit. I had half, we had half, like almost two years. And I told the court, I told CASA, um, C-A-S-A, which is uh, a place that... Um, provides GALs, which is a guardian at litem, which are, they, they are all totally useless, by the way. They don't do jack shit for these children. They're supposed to represent the child um, as a um, lawyer by law um, to represent the child without any bias between two parents, but that's bullshit because they always side with the mom. They always sympathize with the mom because these, these women are born with a natural ability to manipulate. And the reason why, and that's a whole nother subject right there, the whole reason why they manipulate is because if they're even an ounce of pretty or hot, they are being propositioned from the age of 10, believe it or not, all the way up to mid-adult to like in their 60s. Okay? Guys are pigs. They're, they're, they're localized around. I mean, there's a reason why porn and even anime porn is making billions of dollars a year. Because I would say nine out of ten guys are into porn, and they say six out of ten have a sex addiction. Okay, and they watch, they watch, and they localize and they visualize. Literally, if a guy sees a girl with a nice miniskirt walking down the street, they're undressing them in their mind the whole time. Even if they're married with four kids. So, the women, they, they become very good at manipulation because they these propositions. And it trains them throughout their whole entire life. And then it, it boils, boils all down into the court system when, you know... They're being all cute, and they, they, and the courts and the judges don't see them freaking out, throwing things at people, assaulting people, 
Um, and I had two bad relationships in a row like that, and it was all drug related. Um, if 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 these women stay clean, they're not half bad. I mean, I mean, my my kid's mom was a, a fantastic mother. She was a fantastic companion. She was she was wonderful until she got um, sped into all this you know opiate shit. And you can look at that case in court. Um, feel free. I don't know if they post it or not, but it's uh, Phillips versus Delac. Um, I have full custody across the board, um, and there's supervised visits on the other half. Um, but even though um, her parents are ordered to be there, I let her come here and see the children anytime she gets. Um, she comes here, gives them baths and stuff. I, I want her to be part of their lives no matter what. And there shouldn't be any animosity when it comes to the children. I mean, I, I was stolen from... Uh, bad checks, stolen credit cards. Uh, you know, in, in you have to you have to take the good with the bad um, when it comes to the this stupid addiction thing, and that's a whole nother show. But this this the way parents have their kids jump down on their own rhetoric and their own political agenda. If your child is involved in a Second Amendment rally, in my march on washington dc and or walk out then you failed as a parent that's 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 bullying actually so you're bullying i think you're you're a helicopter parent i think you're a moron and you're crippling your kids for life if you restrict their free speech just because they're 16 or 15 years old does not mean they're exempt from the constitution of the united states Listen, I'm for the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. And the reason why that was written is so we don't get taken over by the government. Now the government regulates every aspect of your gun purchases and the whole bit because they're obsessed with tracking you, following you, watching you, documenting you. And now, when you're born, they want to pass legislation here in New Hampshire. They want to take a DNA sample as soon as you're born. And now... They want warrants to do to do so on toxicology reports, so so cops can just get your your blood your blood level right off the bat when you go to the hospital, without any uh, you know general release or anything. So it's it's they're obsessed with tracking you, and how far does it go? You know. So there's a lot of issues involved in all this parenting, all, all kinds of stuff, and then and then you have addiction and. You know, I touched on a lot of stuff, um, but please, do not control your kids. Do not push your own political agenda, your own rhetoric, and your own ideals onto your children. I know a guy that's literally taken his daughter to pretty much every single political campaign thing he had, protesting and stuff, and the kid's out there with a sign, and I don't agree with that. that she goes, number one, because he... She, he's not going to get a sitter and of course she's going to do what daddy does and now she's basically brainwashed into thinking one way or the other my kids are going to have their own choice you know I, I, I will support my son liking Trump even though he's an idiot um, you know the, I don't, I don't and, and trust me I'm not I don't think Trump's an idiot because he's a Republican or because he's outspoken or because he has a racist rhetoric I don't trust any of them they're uh, they're controlled by corporations period and there's like five people that run this country and they all have billion dollar tags behind them and um, it, and the CIA NSA and every four-letter and three-letter governmental agency follows, tracks, and, and controls every aspect of your life. And every single president for the past 50 presidents, <laughs> you know, have warranted this. So I don't trust any of them. The Constitution has been crapped on, wiped, and it's gone. There is no rights anymore. You know, you hear all these uh, people, oh, the Second Amendment says this, the First Amendment says that, the Third Amendment says this, the Fourth Amendment says that. Oh, that's my Fourth Amendment right. Listen, DUI checkpoints put a rest to the Fourth Amendment. There is no Fourth Amendment anymore. You can't even go back and forth from Mexico, back and forth, 
um, as a free person in a free world, you, you have to go through checkpoints, you have to jump over walls, you gotta dig tunnels. <clears throat> you know, it's Berlin all over again. So, that's my good morning to the state, and uh, you guys have a, uh, a happy and safe weekend. It is Friday, the 15th, March. It is approximately, blah, it's like 10.30, Jesus. Um, it's late. It's late. And I'm going to say, good morning to the state. Peace.